Hey, good morning, church. Uh, so grateful to come and spend a couple moments with you talking about prayers of confession. And I think it's vital that when you think about prayers of confession, we remember in, in practice exactly what it is that we see modeled uh, from Jesus in the, 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 the model prayer. The, the disciples came to Jesus and asked him to teach them how to pray. And he told them that they should pray in this way. And he says, one of the lines in there is, forgive us our trespasses as we have forgiven those uh, who trespass against us. Uh, when we teach our students how to pray, we teach them the PRAY acronym. Praise, request, admit, yield. Uh, confession has to be a part of our regular prayer. For me, uh, prayers of confession is something that, um, a, a very simple prayer that I try to keep in mind in, in an area of my life that I have to confess that I struggle in is being faithful in the small things. You know, in Luke chapter 16, Jesus gives a parable. Uh, and, and in verse 10, he says, The one who is faithful in the least little thing will be faithful in much. And so often we we take that for granted. So often we don't confess where we're struggling in those little areas, those moment by moment, day to day, things that we don't necessarily consider major deals, but are vital in our walk with the Lord. Remember, God's love language is obedience. So you can ask any of the men that I ask to pray for me on a regular basis. I, I always ask them to pray that I be faithful in the small things, because the small things are where God really helps to pour into us and show us how to live our lives out as we walk by faith and in obedience. I would encourage you that as you spend time in, in prayer today, that you would ask God to show you where you where some of those small things are. Maybe have Him help you write down a list of areas that you need to be better at. Maybe it's intercessory prayer, going before God on behalf of others. Maybe it's um, sharing the gospel or treating others with uh, Christ-like compassion. Maybe it's something as, as simple as just how you interact with people uh, who get on your nerves or people that you love that don't always get the best side of you. I encourage you as you spend time looking at your areas of uh, being faithful and those small areas of being faithful, that as you come across those areas that need to change, uh, spend time this week asking God to help you change it. You know, when we confess our sins, we've, we've talked about it, both uh, Brother Bob Billingsley and Brother Bob Myers talked about, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God wants us to be faithful in the small things. So I encourage you, uh, as you spend times of prayer and confession, to be blessed and ask God to help you be faithful in the small things.